Hi everybody, my name is Timothy Trespass and I am a targeted individual. Uh, I wanted to make this video because uh, of all the crap and dirt and filth and noise in, in the city, every now and then you come across something that makes you go, wow. And so here I am going to Lowe's. Um, home improvement or whatever. I gotta go out to, to Red Hook or Gowanus or wherever I am, uh, Smith and 9th Street. And like, you know, so I'm way, way, way up here in this uh, platformy type doodad thingy that goes way, way around. And then, like, you know, I don't know if you can see. coffee but like you know there's Lowe's are we getting it there's Lowe's you know there's the junkyard and the and the boats and the water and the you know it's just it's one of those things that like you know wow you know and if you could see everything because there's so many clouds up here it's just it's you know it's just one of those places that makes you go Wow, you know, uh, Smith and Ninth Street <laughs> used to be a really yucky place, but I guess uh, as everything's gentrifying and more and more people are moving in, where are they coming from? Uh, and the poor are getting pushed further and further away from the central core of the city, so they all have to commute and work. And I wish I had a giant tugboat. I like boats. When I was little, I wanted to build my own submarine. I was gonna build it out of old water heaters or something, but it didn't work out. I was too little. And I didn't have any welding equipment. Anyway, I'm going to Lowe's to buy a Mr. Buddy or Mr. Propane Buddy Heater or Buddy Propane Mr. Propane Heater, whatever it is. It's one of these heaters that you can actually use indoors supposedly because it has a low oxygen cutoff sensor so that you don't kill yourself with the carbon monoxide. Uh, and the reason I'm gonna go spend fucking $80 on a Mr. Propane Heater, cause it's cold! And our, our quote unquote landlord not only has he shut off the electricity to us, which he can claim, well, Con Edison, you know, didn't pay the bill, blah, 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 even though he told them, I'm the owner, uh, don't let anyone put it in their name, uh, you know, whatever, and I can't get into the basement even to see. But they turned off the heat. Now, how do you turn off the heat in a hot uh, steam or hot water radiator system? Uh, the, the hot water or the steam goes through the pipe, and it goes from the basement up, all the way up the pipes to our floor, you know. And each floor has a radiator on it, and the radiator is connected to the pipe. And you can turn your radiator off, but the, still the hot water flows to the other radiators. So in order to turn off our radiator from downstairs, they would have had to disconnect the pipe between our radiator and, and the, the rest of the thing, or even, you know, above their radiator, cut it. Uh, and put on a, 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 a valve so they could turn it off. Because they, in order to turn it off below us, they would have to cut into the pipe and put a valve. Otherwise, there's no way to shut it off unless you turn it off on the radiator itself. So these people actually spent time, money, and effort to modify the heat so they could turn it off. I mean, you know, it's like, I don't know, man. All right, so this thing has cost us so much money. These people put me in jail and all this other crap. That's what I'm afraid of. I don't know what this crazy bastard's gonna do next. But, you know, it cost us all this money, several months rent, and, and we're trying to, you know, find a place. I'm out running around looking for a place and, um, 
haven't found one that's appropriate yet, and we're trying to find something long term so we don't have to do this again in three months. And, um, you know, so at the same time, we're trying to save rent. You know, if he's going to let us stay there with no rent, fine. Let's see if we can make up for some of the money that they cost us to lose, you know? It wasn't cheap running around all this stuff. And thank God it was. Thank God. And thank you, people. And thank the Lord. And now I'm going to Lowe's. So I'm grateful for the opportunity to get a heater. It's just like the thing they don't seem to understand, or maybe they just don't care, is the harder you make it for us, like the colder it is, and the dirtier we are because we have no water, no access to a shower or a sink. We have to go to the gym and, and pay five bucks. No toilet, we gotta go to a restaurant or something. You know, so the dirtier and smellier and unkempt and whatever that we get, the, the harder it is for us to find a room. The, the, you know, if I can't charge my phone, how am I going to call all these places, you know? It's like uh, they just add one thing after another. I don't know what, you know, I don't know, man. It's like they're not working on the building. They're not working on the apartment. They're not trying to rent it out. I haven't seen them talking about it or showing it to anybody. You know, they could show it and say, yeah, these people will be out by the time they move in. No problem. They're not doing anything, man. They're just warehousing this stuff. They don't even have the building permits to, to, to work permits to work on the place. I believe they want to split it into two apartments. Uh, so there'll be four apartments on each floor instead of two. And that way they'll raise the rent. But um, that's just my theory. I don't know. So, you know, I just hope and pray that this guy who pretended to be nice, even though he screamed and yelled at us and all this at the first... And when we said, you know, how do we know you can, we can trust you? You know, he said, oh, we can help you move all your stuff. Uh, uh, uh. How do we know we can trust you? The last guy did that. He took half of what we own and left us in the cold, stole everything. And, uh, oh, I wouldn't do that to you. It's too important to me to, to screw up like that. Uh, you know, I don't do that kind of stuff. And yet here they are turning off the power and turning off the heat. The thing that gets me is the heat, man. I mean, it's easy to turn off the power, click, but turning off the heat to make a special, uh, you know, uh, install a valve, in the, it just boggles my mind. But whatever, you know, um, at least we got to have heat while we're, look at these wrinkles, man. Wow, I'm getting rapid aging. We need heat. So I'm going to check this thing out. Hopefully it'll, it'll, you know, I'm heating the house with a lantern right now, so a heater will work okay. It works on little one-pound propane jammies, which are about three, four bucks, so. Anyway, I'm babbling. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Thank you. God bless you. And my prayers are with everybody who's suffering and targeting and tyranny. God bless you.